there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of 30 days of sketches. We are almost done, just one more day after this. And um, this particular sketch was created by Scrappy Adam just for um, 30 days of sketches. So I started out with my paper actually already half and half. Um, I don't know, I, I must not have caught the video of me actually creating that portion of it. But basically, um, I'm using the right hand side is a paper from um, uh, what's Obed Marshall's Buenos Dias and the blue paper I'm not actually sure where that's from honestly um, but I really liked it because it, there's some blue flowers in the floral paper there and I thought it was nice because it kind of played off of that darker paper now I have two sets of photos here uh, the top one is Noah and his cousin playing like they are baking he's got his little melissa and doug mini mixer out and i think they're he's got a little smoothie um fake smoothie machine and a couple other things and they're playing with their kitchen stuff in the top two photos and then the bottom two photos that is noah after he has decorated some actual real um valentine's cookies and i didn't want to make this a valentine's layout because uh, the top photos are not related to Valentine's at all. So I thought I would just do um, something about that him cooking. So my title is going to be Fake Bake and Decorate because he's actually fake baking in the top one and he's decorating, actually really decorating in the bottom one. And so here I'm just trying to figure out what um, alphas I'm going to use and I am playing with the size of them. I want it to kind of span the entire width of the layout across the middle. Also, you'll notice that I flipped the sketch so that it is um, the where the stars are is now horizontal instead of vertical. I also felt like because my photos are two of one item and two of another item that they needed to be together rather than kind of spread out into the four quadrants that Adam has on the sketch. So I squished them together and rotated the sketch and I like it a lot better for the photos that I am using and so this orange paper that I ended up using to create the title um, it has it's like a snake print or something like that but when it is so thin you can't tell that it just is a brighter orange with um, some yellow and uh, a little bit of red mixed in but like I said you can't really see all of the detail or anything like that because I'm using such a thin font um, and that was by design. I wanted something super bold because I wanted it to stand out enough in the middle, but um, I didn't want something that was really wide because I only have 12 inches and quite a long title. And so I borrowed a die. You can see it to the um, upper right hand corner there from a friend. I happen to be at an all day crop when I am creating this. So I did not have my punches with me, but um, a friend had this die and it worked perfectly. I just inked it up with some prize ribbon ink, um, distress oxide ink, and I am just layering up those um, circles. I don't want them uniform, like straight across. I do want them so that they're not uh, going downhill across the page, if you will, but I don't mind that they have a little bounce up and down to them. And I'm not trying to li line my letters up exactly on the spots. That would be very difficult since, so since some of them you only see a portion of the dot because the other ones overlap. Um, so I just want to make sure that there is white below my title so that you can actually read it rather than um, having a line where the two papers meet. So I thought that worked well. Stars would have worked, worked well also, but since I have florals on here um, and this is, I don't know, I felt like a, a circle worked better for my particular layout because um, it's not celebratory or anything and stars kind of make me feel like it's maybe celebratory or something. Um, and also, you know, circles go well with cookies. So um, circles seem to work well for what I was doing here. So I'm really liking the way it's coming out. And I, like I said, I wanted a little bounce to my letters. I want this to be a more playful layout than a serious layout. And so I thought that would work really well. Um, I am going to slide those two top photos over to the left hand side so it's right they're right above where it says fake bake and then the decorate would um, 
is lined up with the photos that he's actually decorating cookies in. So I pulled out some ephemera from Paige Evans, and I think it is Bungalow Lane. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I liked this piece that said, Today I Will Make, and I thought it was perfect for um, making... He's not really making cookies, but he's decorating. I should have, it should say today I will make a mess <laughs> because you know, kids, when they are, um, cooking or, or, uh, decorating cookies or whatever, it's pretty messy, but that's okay. Um, we try to embrace those things around here and you know, it's not very hard to clean things up. So, um, I did play around with putting that, uh, today I will make uh, tag up at the top page, but I wasn't really happy with it up there either. Well, I liked it up there, but I th felt like the one that says make happiness up at the top fit better at the top than at the bottom because the florals on it competed with the florals in the background paper on the bottom half. But um, I don't even know if it's going to get used at this point because I am trading some things out here. I did pull out my ephemera from the Buenos Dias collection and I end up using quite a bit of that instead. I do still end up using the Today I Will Make um, piece, and then I pull out some little floral bits and those balloons, and those are definitely going to stay there. I really like the way that those look. I like that it gives it some um, lift or um, height above the photo, and I just think it looks fun, and it was, it was a fun day. Um, now, I said stars denote like... Uh, celebration in my mind sometimes and so do balloons but I guess you know um, in his mind maybe it was a, a celebration because he's getting to decorate cookies and we don't do that every day so I swapped out that top piece um, with the floral on it to this piece that says fun mostly because I wanted to bring in that yellow that is in the balloon down below and they were having fun, so you know what, that fits as well. And then I pulled out the acrylic pieces from Buenos Dias, and I added a couple of those, um, a little piece, of, piece that says memories, um, one that says amigos. I thought that was perfect for the top one because it's uh, their cousins and their friends, and so uh, why not? <laughs> and then I am going to pull in a couple of little hearts to kind of finish it off. While I do that, I'll remind you there are a bunch of people playing along, so go and check out their channels down below. Um, we are on our second to last day, so uh, you won't have a whole lot more of 30 Days of Sketches to, to go and check out, but the videos will be there for, uh, for quite forever, so um, you have lots of time to go and check them out. I took my white Arteza gel pen in a .6, and I am outlining the top portion with a, two sketchy lines. And um, I am doing the bottom portion in a blue Muji 0.5 pen, and it's a navy blue. And I feel like um, the sketchy lines re really kind of just finished off the entire layout. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you have questions or comments, um, I will gladly answer those. So just leave those down below for me. It takes me a little bit of time to get back to you, but I don't, um, I do answer all of my uh, questions and comments. Oh, you can see there, I did add a few little enamel dots as well, just to finish everything off. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.